How are we all doing? Welcome back to my channel, Manifest with Joey. We're going to be discussing the Bridge of Events. I made a video on this very briefly before, but we're going to get more in depth. This video was actually requested by quite a few people, um, you know, my DM sections, on Instagram, on TikTok, even right here on YouTube. Some clients and whatnot have suggested it too. So I'm like, you know what, let's get it. So uh, before we hop in, I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. If you need some one-on-one -on -one support, I can help you manifest your desires. Feel free to email me. Click that bell icon to stay tuned for more, okay? Now, to hop right into the video. When it comes to the bridge of events, it's important to identify the process of manifestation, okay? So let's talk about that first. So when it comes to the process of manifestation, it's very simple. You decide what it is that you'd like to experience. The whole goal is to have an accurate experience be experienced by you. So take some time, identify what it is that you'd like to experience, get clear on the specifics or, you know, just generally speaking, involving what it is that you desire to experience. So say it's a specific person in a marriage. Okay, what's that marriage look like? What type of marriage? Is there love? Is there passion? Is there commitment? Is there excitement? Is there joy? You want to really spend some time and get clear. Let God know this inward being, this higher intelligence, this infinite for, um, force, excuse me, whatever you want to call it, know, you want to let it know exactly what you desire to experience. And then from there, you start doing the focus work, building belief, aka building the knowing that what you desire is already yours. It's already happened. You've experienced it. You've created it. It's done, right? It's going to happen type of thing, right? So you can utilize affirmations, scripting, visualization, etc. You want to do the focus work, not obsessively, whenever inspired, whenever you feel the need to do so, but make it a daily habit of placing your awareness on what it is you desire. Because remember this quote that I've come up with, where your focus goes, energy flows, things begin to grow until boom, it shows, okay? You want to be placing your awareness on what it is that you desire to experience and who you'd like to be, okay? So during the process, so the first step is getting clear. The second step is doing the focus work, involving the desire itself and yourself in a general sense. So working on your self-concept, generally speaking, I am worthy of the love I desire. Everything happens for me easily and effortlessly, effortlessly type of thing, right? Embodying this version of yourself that knows they are worthy of love, that knows everything's working out for them. Embodying this version that knows their SP and them are happily married, that knows they have their SP now, right? So the third step is in this sec during the second step, when you start working on yourself and focusing on what you desire, you're going to be releasing resistance. So the third step is going to be very simple. You're just living your life in the knowing that what you desire is done. And it's going to be very easy to do so because during the second step, you've released resistance. So that's the three-step process, okay? So we talked about that. It's a done deal. Step one, you get clear about what you want. Step two, you do the focus work. Step three, you live from the end, live your days in the knowing that what you desire is done. You live your life. Then you receive. So we've talked about the process. Now, how does this relate to the bridge of events? So let's say that you plant the seed. That's what, you know, that's what you, um, the terminology is as used within the community. Reprogramming the mind, impressing the subconscious mind, planting the seed of desire fulfilled. So let's say you plant the seed of marriage, okay? AKA, you know you are married, you are happily married to this person. You know you have the marriage, right? So when you plant the seed of the desire fulfilled, God, this inward being, right? Because everybody is yourself pushed out. Everybody is showing up as a reflection of what's going on within you. Nobody is separate of you. So God will immediately, instantly start rearranging whatever needs to be rearranged, right? Start moving whatever needs to be moved, to get you the experience. This is why people say circumstances don't matter because when you are in this place of knowing and trust within yourself, AKA the seed has been planted involving the desire fulfilled, your circumstances are inevitably going to change. It's inevitably going to shift because in order to, like if you're in a no contact situation with your person, in order to become happily married to them, there has to be some kind of contact that needs to be initiated first and foremost. Whatever needs to be happen, whatever needs to um, happen will happen. Whatever needs to be said, felt, experienced, thought up, physically moved, right? Whatever person you need to speak to, whoever needs to move will move, whether it takes one person, a million, 10,000, or 100. So don't stress about the time. If it seems like it's taking a while, it's just because there's still more moving parts that, that are taking place to get you the experience, okay? So it's, it's very simply put, 
if you haven't experienced the desire yet, you're still on this journey of events. You're still on your bridge of events. And sometimes, I know people don't wanna hear this, but sometimes it can take a while. I use that term loosely, very loosely. But the thing is, when you're in this place of trust within yourself, of knowingness that what you desire is done, you're not gonna be focused on the time anyways, or the how, or any of that. So you get clear about what you want, plant the seed, and then you're undertaken across the series of events, the orchestration of events will begin to happen. Whatever, and I repeat, whatever needs to happen to get you that experience is what's going to happen. Sometimes you may experience things to suggest it's not working, it's not happening. You may take three steps forward, two steps back, five steps forward, one step back. It is your duty to choose to trust the process, to choose to come from love, to choose to stay on top of where your focus is going throughout the day, to choose to take responsibility for what you're doing throughout the day and what you're focusing on, okay? So I hope this clears, um, clarifies things, guys. Um, to the person that um, requested this video, uh, very much so um, in the comment section on YouTube. I can't remember your name, but I'll be sure to um, reply back to you and let you know this video is uploaded. Much love and peace to you. Thank you for the inspiration involving me creating this video. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys have any questions, any concerns, feel free to email me if you need a session. I can help you manifest what you desire. Feel free to email me. All right, much love and peace and have a beautiful, safe day. All right, take care.